Hello everybody, praise be to God on this glorious Sunday day. Well, it's Monday by the time you guys are seeing this, and welcome back to Spy Fox 2, Sun Assembly Required. So, we just got Walter Wireless today, and, or yesterday. Here's where my- Friday, in terms of, never mind. I'm just gonna shut up and start asking people about LaRoche. Do you have any information about LaRoche? I've heard LaRoche has been into some odd plant experiments. Hmm, very interesting. Okay, seriously? Come on. Everybody's just like, oh yeah, LaRoche, he loves his plants. It's like, yeah, that's one thing. Can you tell me more? I'm looking for a heaping helping of pickle pot pie. Any idea where I might find some? I think you should check out that restaurant at the fair. What a deliciously delectable idea. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. I know that LaRoche is up to no good. Would you have any information on him, Professor Quack? LaRoche is sowing the seeds of evil, Spybox. Interesting. Do you know where I could partake in a portion of pickle pot pie? That's a good question. I have no idea. I guess I'll have to utilize my keen spy-like mind to unravel this delicious dilemma by myself. Quack's not very helpful at actually figuring out what to do. But boy howdy, does he make good spy gadgets. That won't do me any good. Oh, that's a shame. So Quack, do you know a good place to eat pizza? Probably at the table. Say Fox, do you ever wonder if we're alone in the universe? What do you mean? Monkey Penny's right over there. I recently developed a super secret spy typewriter rocket, but I can't get it to write. Have you considered firing it? Do you know what I wanted to be before I became a spy? No. You know, spy box, I like throwing pottery almost as much as I like spying. Doesn't breaking all that pottery get expensive? Right. Wow. Hey, Monkey Penny, do you ever wonder how they get those little ships into those glass bottles? Yes, they use carpenter ants. <sighs> wow. <laughs> These are puns. Mo Please stand by. We're in the same room, Spy Fox. Why are you calling me on your spy watch? Sorry, I just can't help playing with these spy gadgets. <laughs> Please stand by. I'm right behind you, Spy Fox. What do you want? Darn, I was hoping this thing could pick up some cartoons. <laughs> spy Fox, out! <laughs> Darn it, I don't have Netflix running on my spy watch yet. We better fix that. Oh, hey, the security guard. Hey, buddy. Hey. So this LaRoche guy... What's his deal? Deal? Well, the deal is he pays me for doing my job. He owns the Chateau La Roche. I hope that helps. Words can't describe how much that helps. <laughs> He's like, I actually don't have a problem with La Roche. He's the one who keeps my food on my table. Do you know where I can find pickle pot pie around here? It's a funny thing. Recipes like that are passed down from father to brother to best friend's uncle and then back to the father. If he hasn't moved by then. The only local place where you can find pickle pot pie is the Chateau La Roche. Is that so? Thanks for the tip. Go right in, Carlton. <laughs> I love how he actually refers to us by the name we choose for the other character. Oh boy, she'll probably have stuff to say about La Roche. What do you know about Napoleon La Roche? He's my boss, the one who owns this restaurant. I understand. Thanks for the info. <laughs> Can you prepare pickle pot pie? Why, I won the French Cooking Medal of Honor for my pickle pot pie. And of course I can make it. Well, that is, I could make it. But I only have one pickle right now. Can't you make it with the one pickle you do have? Absolutely not. 
good pickle pot pie must be made with exactly two pickles. Here, you can take this one, and if you can find another exactly like it, I'd be more than happy to make you some pickle pot pie. Thanks, Chef. Two pickles, eh? I'll get those for you on the double. Stir, stir, stir. Okay, that one was kind of clever, actually. <laughs> Yeah, so we got a pickle, and now we have to find one exactly like it. I wonder how we'll do that. Anyhow. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to share one of the many high points of your career as a chef. Well, I once swallowed a whole container of yeast. I guess that's one way to get a rise out of the chef. Ba -ba Are there any great moments in your career that really stand out? Well, I remember the time I fell into the colander. And what happened when you fell into the colander? I strained myself. That actually might be the worst pun in the whole game. Are there any great culinary moments in Grand Opera? Yes, in Hansel and Gretel, when they cook the witch. It was dreadful. Would you have preferred a different ending? No, I would have used a bay leaf and a lot more pepper. Stir, stir, stir. Again, I couldn't hear that at all. Partly because of her accent and partly because... The volume's not high enough. What's the most challenging part of being a chef? Trying to blend in. What kind of cake would you bake for a baseball team? We've already heard about that. Hey, there's a bug in your kitchen. That's not going to do me any good. Also, remember, we happen Here's to have I keep my spy a photo of a key that if we bake in the oven, we'll turn into a real key. So... Would it be okay if I used your, your oven? It's really quite urgent. That oven is a highly sophisticated piece of kitchen equipment. Only trained chefs can use it, and I'm afraid you don't look at all like a chef. Stir, stir, stir. Yes, clearly only professional chefs can use ovens. <laughs> that is how that works. Come to the kitchen with Tyna. Ahem. Oh. oh, excuse me. I didn't see you come in, Chef Wolfgang. What a pleasant surprise. Well, I was in the neighborhood and I thought to myself, my, it has been a long time since I last prepared food inside a giant mechanical dock. Yes, well, of course, as a fellow master chef, you are welcome to make use of my kitchen. That's very generous of you. I believe I... But you may not use my wooden spoons. The purple ones, they are mine and I need them. Of course, how foolish of me. You know, of course, that too many master chefs spoil the broth. Chef Dinah, I can honestly say that compared to you, I am merely an imposter. No, oh, Wolfgang. You are such a kidder! You are too kind, too kind. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. <laughs> like, she's like, you don't look like a chef. Turns around two seconds later, she turns around. The exact same fox, just wearing a different outfit. She's like, oh, it's someone completely different. It's like Aladdin. <laughs> Anyhow, now that we have the chef outfit keep... on, now we can use the other. Stir, stir, stir. Someone's in the kitchen with Dino. Someone's in the kitchen with Dino. Amazing! The key goes into the oven full size and comes out tiny, much like my Aunt Ethel's meatloaf. That doesn't sound like very good meatloaf. <laughs> Anyhow, oh, oh, does she say anything different if we're dressed as Wolfgang Duck? Perhaps you'd like to share one of the many high points. Nope. I'll leave my chef outfit here, just in case I need it later. <laughs> She'll never know. <laughs> hey, LaRoche. <laughs> Please tell us about yourself. <laughs> So how's it going with your evil plans for world domination, LaRoche? It's fantastic! What are you doing here again? <laughs> Once again, I find myself a little down in the mouth, but hopefully not for very long. <laughs> wow. My escape route is still open. LaRoche literally didn't even check. Yeah. 
Now we get to do the cool pose again. Ugh. Well, for one thing, we now actually have a rose, so... Hey, Madam Ladybug, here you go. Madame, would this rose be suitable? Oh, thank you, sir. I'll just replace that atrocious flytrap with his beauteous rose. Nicely done. I can dispose of that flytrap for you. How polite. Obviously, you're a fox with home training. Yes, I am housebroken, thank you. <laughs> wow. She, I love how she still keeps the rose in the giant cage, though. That's fantastic. Later! <laughs> so we now have this fly trap. With the off switch in it, but we also can't get it out of the mouth right now. Anyhow, we have one pickle. We need two pickles. What better place to demonstrate than at the cloning booth? Can we clone the key? We know what you're thinking. What's for lunch? Food. And only food. Can you replicate it? Oh, they can't. They can only replicate food. Okay. Please clone Walter Wireless. Good. Question. What question? The cloning machine can only replicate. Ooh. Am I needed for this? Walter could be considered food depending on who's asking. I have this pickle. Don't come running to us with your trouble. I think he wants us to quote it, doll. Very well, late. You do the honors. No. After you, I insist. No, please. After you. I'll do it. Don't touch that. <laughs> That amazing. Yes, but does it do Julianne France? You can always tell what a customer is not going to buy, Lee. You speak the truth, doll. <laughs> They're like, oh, <laughs> what a butt. He's just like, I'm not that impressed. Can it make French fries? <laughs> They're like, oh, get out. Well, now we're not going to be able to use that again. But that's okay. That's all we need it for. We need pickles. <laughs> And more pickles. And even more pickles. Also, let's go to Wii World. Because now we have the key to get inside. Where do you think you're going? That exhibit is closed. It's alright. I have a key. Oh well. If you've got a key, then go right in. Ah, the right key. Excellent. <laughs> See, I told you I had a key. <laughs> Not suspicious at all. <laughs> Welcome to Wii World. Build up a bunch of tiny exhibits. Nothing really all that interesting. Oh, and there's a... No alarm, it seems. This is the one we need to go to. This opening is too small to get through. It'll take someone much smaller than myself to get through. Well, luckily we have that in Walter Wireless. There you go, Walter. You've got to find Dotty Dash, the microfish. You can count on me, Spy Fox. Now we, we actually get to control Walter Wireless, which is kind of cool. Also, this place looks sweet. Holy cow. <laughs> Hot dog! Coffee. Soda. Hot dog. <laughs> Look at that cargo. This is a really cool section where it's like a slight puzzle game almost where we control this car Walter. is my ticket to the dream house. We get to control Walter and we get to kind of try to figure out how to do stuff. This is the only way to travel. He also has a grappling hook with him. Or I guess an anchor. It's just a nice change of it's like a nice gameplay change. 
but actually a good one and not like most mini games in video games. <laughs> This just in, design flaw discovered in Dreamhouse. <laughs> what a shocking waste of valuable attic space. I've been told that it's impolite to stare, but in this case, I'll make an exception. Well now, things are starting to look up. Honestly, if they made a game just where kind of like this, where you control Walter and have to get through different places, it could, I'd be down for that. Uh. Well, how about that? We got a bunch of flamingos on the ground. I recognize that music. I wonder if any ever die-hard Humongous Entertainment fans recognize that music. Okay, just the same music over and over again. <laughs> Did you give up where that music's from? It's from Puppet and Pep's Balloonorama, the music on Fatty Bear's house. The refrigerator is now in cold storage. This button opened that door. Yeah, yeah. My Let's instinct go. tells me I'm getting closer to Donnie Dash's location. There she is. <laughs> and the $74 million question is, who invented the retractable TV? <laughs> Good question, Walt. Not sure. I can open and close the top drawer with this button, but will it sort my socks? This button opens and closes the bottom drawer. Kind of tricky puzzle, you gotta make it Typically, open twice. Typically, I would open and close the drawer by hand. Calm, cool thinking pays off. Film at 11. Okay, seriously, how did anybody create this? This is like a really tiny exhibit that is filled with all these crazy electronics, like retractable TVs, drawers that can open electronically. Like, who designed this? Clearly, they must have had like a bug do it. Like Walter. Around and around and down. This is Walter Wireless. Oh, we can't click the top button yet. Not until we clear this out. Eureka. Astounding. There is a bathtub in the floor. And it looks deep. <laughs> well, I mean, Dolly Dash is a fish. So you can't be surprised that. That closes the floor over the tub. <laughs> It's like the uh, the swimming pool from It's a Wonderful Life in the high school that opens up. <laughs> yeah, that button actually does nothing but hinder your progress. Walter, I'm glad you found me. I've been on surveillance here in Wii World, searching the airwaves for anything suspicious. I intercepted a smelly message that has to do with some activation code. My equipment went on a frick before I could get the whole message to you in Spy Corps, but I think it's really important. I'm sure it is, but if it was a radio message, how do you know it smelled bad? Not smelly. Smelly. The Society for Meaningless Evil Larceny Lying and Yelling. All right. Our evil nemesis. So what was the rest of the message? I need to transmit it to SpyFox right away. Of course. The activation code is Cherry Apple Orange. Got it. Cherry Walter Apple Wireless orange. calling SpyFox. Please stand by. Come in, SpyFox. I read you loud and clear, Walter. Did you find Dottie Dash? I did. I'm going to transmit the activation code Dottie intercepted to you via the spy watch. Stay tuned. Cherry Apple Orange. I've got it, Walt. Good job, Dottie. Thanks, Spy Fox. The rest is up to you now. Good luck, Spy Fox. This is Walter Wireless signing off. I've got the off switch activation code. Now that LaRoche is in for it. Woo! We're a third of the way there. Then everything 
refused to let me on because I was not tall enough to go to the turnstile. Dollar kids laughed at me. I thought that one day it would be I who would do the laughing. <laughs> I am laughing. <laughs> See, it is I who is laughing. Yes. Very soon the evil dog buck will be fully wound. And without the off switch there, there will be no way for anyone to stop me from crushing all the turnstiles and conquering the world. <laughs> the Roach's backstory. <laughs> Not sure whether to feel bad for him, that, like, it's like, okay, couldn't they have told him he couldn't ride the ride, or, like, it's, like it's when he started trying to get into the line? Or if, <laughs> or if it's also, like, well, they didn't know, and also, like, it, the ride is dangerous if he was that small. I don't know. I mean, it's gotta suck for him, but this seems like a, just a little, just a little bit of an overreaction on his part, honestly. It's like, oh, no, I wasn't able to ride the ride when I was a kid. I know, I'll destroy the world. <laughs> Kids, don't be like LaRoche. <laughs> Go right in, Carlton. Thank you. <laughs> Whoosh. I just realized that we will probably beat this path for the next episode because oh, we're about to, like, time. get all oh. the stuff. So, first off... Hey, lady. You like my pickles? Here you are. Two big, juicy pickles. Wonderful. How exciting that you should find two so identical. They appear to be exactly alike. Perhaps they're related. <laughs> she won the first prize for that. The secret to gourmet cooking is careful mixing of only the finest ingredients. Hopefully we'll have the opportunity to try that one of these days. <laughs> one of my favorite lines from Spot Fox, he is such a savage. Voila! <laughs> oh, thank you! Oh. My breath should now be potent enough to get me past that electronic sniffer and into the secret workings of the giant robot dog. Yeah, I would I would have that same reaction, Spy Fox, <laughs> from eating pickle Popeye. <laughs> Sounds terrible. Didn't anyone ever tell you that evil doesn't pay? Actually, it doesn't pay well, but it does have a great health plan, and you get stock options. It's back to jail for you, Spy Fox. And stop escaping. I have evil to do. <laughs> All you're doing is sitting in your giant chair. <laughs> also, the restaurant still seems to be closed. It would be nice Getting if, like, coughed more up the throat of this dog bot is sure tough on a white tuxedo. When I catch that LaRoche, he's not only going to get a stiff sentence from the Justice Department, he's also going to get a huge bill from my dry cleaner. It's a good thing those villains haven't discovered the security breach. My escape route is still open. <laughs> it's a good thing that everybody <laughs> at LaRoche that works for LaRoche is really stupid. <laughs> He's just like, Spy Fox, stop escaping. I'm not even going to question how you escape. <laughs> Alrighty. What do you know about that? Pickle Pot Pie did the trick. Now I can come and go as I please. LaRoche's breath analyzer was no match for a clever international spy like me. I must be in the belly of LaRoche's evil beast. I should have a look around. Look at them. The fools are unaware that by simply entering the fair, they are making possible my plans for world domination. As they enter the fair, they pass through a turnstile, which rotates a series of gears beneath the admissions gate. These gears, in turn, rotate a giant underground threat that passes below the fair to the face of my cleverly disguised giant robot dog. From there, a series of gears turn, spinning the drive shaft, which turn, yet more gears that wind up the massive spring that will power my unstoppable, evil dog bot. When the one million tourists come to the turnstile, my evil dog bot will be completely wound. And then, 
I will unleash the dog bot on the unsuspecting world and conquer it in the name of Smelly. <laughs> Holy Roach, that is a good one. I like all the LaRoche monologues every time you make progress in this story. They're funny. Anyhow, that's going to do it for this episode of Spy Fox 2, Some Assembly Required. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Color Forty. Tune in next time. We actually might clear the path next episode. I'm not sure. The only thing we have left to do is get the off switch out of the fly trap. Because LaRoche's dog bot is actually kind of small on the inside. There's not a whole lot to do. So, look forward to exploring that later. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.